What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. All right guys, tomorrow, 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 big day. If you wonder what the hell tomorrow is, I'm going to show you real quick. We have another banner dropping probably tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If everything goes well, volume two of the crossover draw is planned to be added for November 16th. So far we've got no news. Uh, everything is hush hush and silent. So just you guys are aware, uh, as soon as I do get any form of word tomorrow morning, if I do any get anything brand new, I will be sharing it with you guys for sure. Now, a couple of things I want to talk about real quick. Two things as a matter of fact. Number one, Game of the Year. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis was in fact nominated for Game of the Year for mobile. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. As somebody who plays Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and covers it uh, as the main game on his channel... Do I think Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis deserved to win Game of the Year? I'll be honest with you guys, it did not. It absolutely does not deserve Game of the Year. Uh, it's very close to me, near and dear, in terms of mobile Game of the Year for sure. Uh, as a personal vote, but I'll be honest with you guys, Honkai Star Rail absolutely blows it out of the water when it comes down to aesthetics, gameplay, bugs, you name it. It's just a way more put together game so for those who were like what did Payne vote on for game of the year for mobile listen i played honkar star rail i covered it even though i quit the game because it was just too much for me from a time perspective i think it absolutely deserved game of the year so as much as i love final fantasy 7 ever crisis and i and I, it's still my favorite game on mobile i do as a matter of fact think it did not deserve game of the year uh in my opinion now second thing i want to talk about uh, what do I think is going to happen tomorrow? This is just my guess. We're probably going to see Kuja and Sephiroth drop. So that's going to be the next. We saw them in the storyline and Garnett as uh, as Aerith. It's probably going to see a staff. If the rumors are true, we might see life as a brand new spell. So a light spell coming from Aerith. Um, and then for Kuja, I'm not sure. I think if we're going to continue going with the Black Waltz enemies, especially with EX3 coming out, we're probably going to see a non-elemental weapon drop for Kuja that shall be that'll be Sephiroth. So part two will be that now. The rumor as well is it's going to be Glenn's weapon as a free weapon, which is a physical attack down weapon. Um, so that might be the free weapon, uh, similar to what we got for Lucia, but probably a little bit better. So a couple of rumors, of course. Again, when I hear more news, I'll tell you guys more about it. Now, something else I want to do real quick. Because we're talking about a crossover and um with another Final Fantasy game, here is my opinion of what we're going to see next for the next crossover. Now, bear with me. This is completely theory crafting, and what I think, if they were smart, what they would do. This is not my favorite Final Fantasy they should go with, but I think this is the most popular one that they should go with, and I think it makes sense once I show you guys, all right? So, what I think the next game is going to be is the following. Final Fantasy X. I think it would make the most sense for these guys to do the next crossover as number 10, because I believe it is the most popular final fantasy amongst its uh the titles outside of seven i don't think anything goes close to number 10 outside of seven now we have some pretty iconic characters and i want to break down each of their weapons that i think we may see and the characters that they would fit with final fantasy seven ever crisis okay so first off titus titus our boy titus he is the main character uh if you guys don't know who titus is you've been living under a rock we all know who he is there he is right there uh so he would be obviously cloud very similar features, spiky blonde hair, wields a sword. You guys can already see somewhat of a maritime outfit already with the shorts and the shirt and the black right there. Uh, very Kingdom Heartish. Now, of course, the sword he is currently carrying is none other than Brotherhood. So right here will be the sword that I believe Cloud would get in the game. So Brotherhood is his most iconic sword. Now, these are not the best swords in the game, but it is the most popular sword uh, Brotherhood is probably the best looking sword in the game as well, in my opinion. So I think that would be the best fit for Cloud. Titus and Cloud, I think, go hand in hand. All right, next up, the second main character in the game and also the star of 12, or X2, I should say, and that is going to be Yuna. Okay, so Yuna is going to be uh, right over here. This is her look in X2. Her main look in X, uh, in, in X is this one over here where she's wearing her traditional garb. I believe that would be, of course, Aerith. Aerith would be the one to be wearing that. And, of course, the, the staff that would fit best for her is going to be Nirvana. Uh, Nirvana would probably be the best-looking staff for 
this now this is i think the best staff in the game but this is the most traditional staff in the game so we could see either or because this is the white mage staff that she has also an x2 so in regards to um yuna i believe Aerith would probably be the best fit in regards to being that character and that outfit right here that you see would look amazing on her so i think a crossover would fit really really well for that character now Orin is probably the most popular character from the game now sephiroth or glenn would be a really good Orin. uh Jet could also be part of it. If you don't know who Jet is, Jet is uh, the father of Titus. <laughs> this is not a spoiler for anybody who hasn't played it. You should, be, should have played this a long time ago. Um, but in regards to Jet, um, or sorry, in regards to Oren, he does, in fact, have the, the Masumane, which is actually Sephiroth's sword. So I don't know if it makes sense for Sephiroth to possess a version of his main weapon that's not his own as you guys are aware this is the masumane from final fantasy 7 which is sephiroth's and this is actually the version that is for Orin. so i think this would look a little bit better on glenn but i think because it is a masumane it should probably belong to sephiroth so Orin would be sephiroth by default just for this weapon alone unless they decide to give Orin a different weapon he can use outside of the masumane but this is probably one of my favorite looking weapons in the game okay so that would be his moving on to the next character waka 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 so waka was the uh the local funny boy in the game and the the the, the one that had the most cheerful um i guess personality and it would go really well with yuffie that's right yuffie because he throws a ball yuffie throws a shuriken so this ball here would be perfect called the world champion it is his ultimate weapon this looks like a shuriken in itself but it's a ball so if they do have an outfit for yuffie and a weapon i believe this would be perfect and waka would fit really really well with that outfit as well you can see yuffie probably wearing this which is a little bit more of a design for a girl for the cleavage aspect but everything else i think yuffie will look badass in okay um lulu this one's tough I don't think she really belongs with anybody here outside of, you know, this is sad to say maybe Red 13 um, or Kate Sith. If Kate Sith is in the game, I think Lulu would be a good fit. And here's a picture of Lulu right there, the cleavage. Obviously, Kate Sith doesn't have that. But Kate Sith would be kind of iconic because you would have the Mog replace the cat, right? So it would be Mog Sith, Mog on a Mog. It'd be interesting. Or a character. She also holds a character once in a while. So it'd be interesting to see K-Sith as Lulu. I know most people would be like, where's the cleavage, bro? But I think from a character perspective, it makes sense because of what K-Sith is and what it holds as a character. So I think that might be one of the better options for that character, okay? Uh, Kamari, I think that's a pretty straightforward one, guys. If Sid Hywin does come out, Sid would be the perfect character to have this. Obviously, the uh, Gungnir or um, maybe even the Highwood because, I mean, it's his last name and, and he does carry it. So, Sith would probably be wearing this with the outfit that you see here. I think that would be really cool looking on Sith, to be, on Sith, to be honest with you, with, his, with, with everything, the ponytail and everything, uh, and just a fake horn. I think Sith would look pretty badass with that outfit. And then lastly, lastly you see here is Riku. Riku's a fairly popular character, not because only of, of her bubbly personality, but because she's just a badass in the game. And Riku, of course, has claws, and none other than who do we have here. There we go. God Hand for Tifa. As a matter of fact, I believe Tifa also has God Hand in Final Fantasy VII, but this would be the God Hand weapon that is for Riku. She has claws, so it would make sense that Riku would fit perfectly for Tifa. And guys, Give me a break. Tell me you wouldn't want to see Tifu, Tifa in that outfit or even from the X2 outfit that Riku wears, right? So this right here is Riku. I think Tifa would look badass in her outfit. So that right there, guys, I think is going to be the next crossover personally. I think Final Fantasy X makes the most amount of sense. I'm curious, guys, before the banner drops, what do you guys think? Do you think this is probably the best banner they, or the best crossover they could possibly do? I personally love Final Fantasy IV, as I've mentioned numerous times, and I can easily do a comparison video of Final Fantasy IV and all the characters that could wear the outfits with Rosa, Golbez, uh, Kane, Cecil, Edge, you name it, right? Like Tella. We could easily do that. But I believe not many people who play Final Fantasy VII have 
are, are, are that old, to be honest. Uh, some of them, this might be Final Fantasy VII might have been their first game, or X might have been their first game. And another popular one, obviously, would be Final Fantasy VIII. So I can see them doing either X or VIII before they even get to four. but a dream come true would be four one day. And X, though, I think is still the best option. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. That was just something a little different I wanted to do before the banner drops tomorrow. Uh, currently still working on getting this to 30k. Let me know where you guys are at and if you're going to plan to pull tomorrow if the banner is any good or if you have any tokens left. Um, outside of that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.